and Lay Lake 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series. Lake stop number five. Lake. I haven't fished here. I fished here with my buddy Jacob in 2020. And then I have not fished here a tournament since 2016, probably. Maybe 2000, probably was 15 or 16. 2015 or 16. So haven't fished here in quite some time. You know, but it's the Coosa River. I've got a decent amount of experience on the Coosa, not this lake in particular. And one thing about the Coosa River is these are milk run lakes. These are not pattern lakes. As far as I have seen, a couple of times you could get on a pattern here, but for the most part, these seem to be milk run lakes, which meaning they get in the same spot very consistently. So I feel like the locals are gonna have a big advantage that fish here a lot. Now I have not, but if we gonna commit today, early at least to fishing shallow, throwing a frog, flipping, you know, swim jig, all that type of stuff, and try to get some of those bigger bites. And if the day feels like it's going the right way, I might do that all day. Now, if it's not, I'm gonna bail and go try to throw a worm and try to catch spots or something like that, or just, just fish and do something where I feel like I can generate some bites and jump around and kind of do a lot of different stuff. But we're hoping the grass, the shallow wood, all that stuff plays the way that I want it to, and we can, you know, catch us five out of it. I feel like that's my best shot at catching big ones. I didn't have any big bites doing that for the first two days of practice, but then the third day of practice, I had two really good bites out of the grass. So, you know, I really feel like that's my best shot at catching a really big bag. So that's what we're going to daggum do until it's time to bail, and we got to do a backup plan. So, you know. What time's bail time? 12? It just depends on how the day's going, you know. If I got three at 12, you know, yeah, I'll probably bail. If I got four at 12, probably won't bail till, you know, 2.30. So, I mean, we just kind of got to see. It's going to be it's gonna be one of those weird ones. I've been chomping on that swim jig, ain't they? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Made me think it was February. Oh <laughs> if you thought that was serious, it wasn't. And that's the truth. You can't give me bites on it at all. In the top 10 of Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, standing a two time classic qualifier from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Right behind him, a four time Bassmaster winner from North Prince George, Virginia, Jacob Parosnik. He's a 10 time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a former TTBC champion from Asheville, Alabama, Matt Aaron.
five. Pretty good one. In the mouth. Do that all day. Five of them tomorrow. It was biting me for a little while. But I couldn't run it around and catch no more. Let's catch tomorrow. Thank you. All right, so. Ended up actually getting more bites than I thought I was gonna get. But I never had a good bite all day long. So, I mean, I threw baits that I have a lot of confidence in, in areas where I feel like the big ones should be. I just never got one of those big bites. So, I mean, did the best I could do with the bites I had. Can you go tomorrow? We'll see. Hopefully I do more tomorrow. Alabama, get loud for one of your very own, a two-time classic qualifier, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Five fish here today having a great season in the mix in our progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. Five fish here today. Day number one, stop number five. Got a little time on my hands with the wristwatch. I don't got time for the brakes and the pit stop. Race through the gridlock, take it like Chris Rock. Great to the chin, still. Pot fish here today, 11 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves inside the top 20 in 18th place currently. Another good start on the Bassmaster Elite Series for Kyle Welcher. And 11 pounds, 10 ounces is generally not the goal, but you got to be feeling pretty decent as, you know, we're nearing the halfway point of the way in and I. Unless crazy things start to happen, this was a tough day. Yeah, no, it, it definitely was. And I'm just glad to be in Alabama, and I embrace the grind. You know, I kind of grew up fishing like this, and it's fine with me to go out there and get eight or nine bites all day. Like, I kind of like it. Like, I like whenever it's tough, and it just it makes you stay focused and really, you know, tuned into that next bite because you know how important it is. But I kind of like the tough ones. Working out good for you so far. Keep it rolling.